Good day, beloved of God. This is Prophet West coming to you once again, and I'm going to be brief. But as the old folks say, I God has has given me a word from for someone uh, listening to me right now, and this word is burning on the main altars of my heart. And you are the person who's been paying your tithes and your offerings and you've been faithful in church. You've been faithful uh, toward what God has given you. Uh, and you know the word. You, you, the word says to cast your bread upon the waters and not many days hence it shall be returned unto you. And you know the scripture that says give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and, under, and, and running over shall uh, shall men give into your bosom. You understand the scripture and the principles of sowing and reaping and you, you've, you've been sowing in every season and, and you've sowed in your, even in your past season. Uh, but it feels as though in your sowing, but you're not getting a harvest. People that you know that God has been speaking to that's supposed to uh, release a blessing to you. They, they're, they're being no disobedient and they're not listening uh, to God. And for that reason, it feels like uh, things in your life is you, you're in a struggle even more because people are not uh, listening to God, but you are trying your best to. Uh, but I come to tell you that don't worry about none of that because just like those people who, who don't disobey God and didn't listen to God speak to them to bless you, God, God will raise up another people, obedient people who will listen and who will bless you in this hour. But I want to tell you, regardless of all of that, the word that God has given for me to give to you today is the wait is over. And that means that the very thing that you've been waiting for, the very thing that you've been you've been expecting that that's, it feels like the door has been closed in your face. It feels like every time it seems like you see the light at the end of the tunnel. But then at the end of that situation where you think God is going to bless you in, in a great way, uh, it, it ends up to be a locomotive, a train that's coming to hit you and, and knock you back down. You've been stuck in this place for a long time, so it seems. But I come to tell you today, listen to me and listen to me well. The wait is over. The dam has been broken. What was holding up your blessing? What was holding up what God has for you has been released. It's just like the story of Daniel when he had prayed to God and, and God didn't answer him that first day. He thought something was wrong with him. He thought he had did something wrong. So he was stripping himself of, of, of his garment. He was stripping himself of everything, putting on sackcloth and ashes and then mourning and, and saying within himself, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And then 21 days later, the answer came with his blessing and said, God heard him the first time. But the prince of Persia came in inner subject his blessing. Listen to me, beloved of God. See, this is what has happened to you. The, the, the thing about it, what you've been praying for, it was heard and it was released. But the thing about it, the adversary came to fight it. But God had to send back up concerning your blessing. God had to send back up, back up concerning what was concerning what he had for you. And it has been released. That hand has been broken. That hand has been crushed. Uh, uh, that, that wall has been pulled down. Jericho has come down. The sound is out and your wait is over. So expect the unexpected. Expect a move from God like never before that's going to happen to you concerning you because you are the one who's been faithful. And because of that, God has raised up. God has raised up and broken, broken, working through. And God has raised up a voice. God has raised up a hand. God has raised up a people. God has raised up and created a blessing for such a time as this concerning you, concerning your faithfulness, because you've been faithful, because you've been trusting in God. He has remembered you and it's going to come right now. The wait is over. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. And may all God's best be yours. God bless you.